Hi, this is Mrs. Brown. I just wanted to walk you through a little bit of the steps of using our Moodle so that way you can do well in this course. Um, first of all, I do have an, um, our main navigation area is right here and it's where I'll put anything that you'll need to use on a regular basis. Um, I have a link to our syllabus and information um, so you can know about the course information. I have a link to the live classroom. Now, live classroom will be times where I will make appointments with you for us to have um, real-time chats where you, I will be online and you can ask me questions about anything in the class. Um, when we have tests and quizzes, there will be a link to those here. Here we have um, when we do blog entries. Um, at, at future assignments, we'll, you'll have to create blog entries. This is the way you will get to your blog. We have a spot for journals as well, for our reflective journals. Um, we have a direct link for discussion boards, and we have a link when we do group work. Um, most often, though, when you come onto the course, the first place you will go is to the current module. So if you click on that, you'll see that it has each of the steps you need to complete to complete this module and receive your grade. Um, it usually begins with the interactive lesson. Um, if you click on that, you can view and listen to the le lesson. Um, it also has activities that you have to do. Um, some activities might be discussion boards, and if it is, if you'll click on the link, you'll see that it will bring you to the discussion board on which you can add your topic and do the assignment. Um, sometimes you'll have to submit something to me. Uh, for example, here you need to create a table in which you identify types of taxes at the local, state, and national levels. And describe the importance of each. Um, notice that there are a few things. I say submit through the site here, and then I say here's a link to a template you can use for the assignment. The template right here, if I give you a template, you could open it up, and then you could put your answers in here, and then you could save this document. Once you have the document saved, you'll click on where it says submit to this site here, and you can browse and find your file and submit it this way. Anytime you have to submit a file to me, um, this is how I will have you submit it. Um, <clears throat> quizzes, links, this is not a current link right now, but eventually, as it says by Wednesday, it will be a link to a quiz, um, and you could take your quiz that way as well. Um, reflections are journal entries that are personal to you and me. I'm the only one who can read it. It will not be able to be read by any other students. And so when you add those, know that it is something that is somewhat private. Anytime you're in your course and you need to get back to the main page, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you see Brown Economics, and you click that, it will bring you back to our main page. There are also direct links on the left-hand side to things like the forums, journals, and various resources. If you have more than one class, under My Courses, you'll see the links to your different courses that you are enrolled in, so you can go from one course to another. Um, I may add other things along the side. If you want to see participants in the course, you can click Participants, and you can also see the students that are in this course. If you click on a student's name, you can um, find out a little bit more about them, if you'd like. Um, you can often see their, their forum posts and their blog entries as well. Blogs are private, are public, I mean, so you'll be able to see that. They have their email address on here. You can click their email, and you can even email them if you need to. All right, those are some basics about the Moodle course. If you have any questions, know that you can always ask me. If you go to our discussion boards, and you see the discussion board called Ask Miss Brown, this is one that you can go to that you can ask me specific questions and I'll answer them. Also, you can check to see if someone else has already asked your question and if there's already an answer to that question. Thanks a lot.